Hello, this is Tamisha with Educational Tutoring Centers with an arithmetic reasoning problem in preparation for an ASVAB test. Um, this problem says, in the city of Hewitt, houses are assessed for tax purposes at 80% of the purchase price. If Mr. Thomas buys a house in Hewitt for $120,000 and real estate taxes are $4.75 per $100 of assessed valuation, how much property tax must he pay over the pay each year? Well, ultimately, they're asking us about how much property tax he's going to pay each year. But before we can answer that question, we need to find out what the valuation is on the property. And that's based on the purchase price. So the purchase price is here at $120,000. Okay? And it's going to be evaluated at 80% of that purchase price. Okay? So we have this $120,000 here. And remember on the ASVAB test, you're not allowed to use a calculator. So it's going to be good to be able to know some techniques of doing mental math. <clears throat> so the first thing I would do is take 10% of this $120,000. And the uh, way you would take 10% of this is you just simply move this decimal one place and to the left and the number that's produced is one uh, twelve thousand dollars. So here's twelve thousand dollars, and um, that's ten percent of that one hundred twenty thousand dollars. So if you want eighty percent, you would just multiply this number by eight, and multiplying by eight is um, the reason why we're multiplying by eight is because ten percent is like a dime. And um, so that's one dime out of a dollar, okay? If you want 80%, you will multiply by 8, which is 80 cents. 80 cents is 80% of a dollar. So here we would only be multiplying 12 by 8, which is 96. And then 8 times a 0, 0, and 0 is just three zeros here at the end. Okay, so 96,000 is 80% of that 120,000. The next part of the problem says that um, the real estate taxes are $4.75 per 100. And so whenever you hear per 100, it's saying percent. So this is 4.75% of this 96000 You can estimate um, using compatible numbers since um, you're not able to use a calculator. So the first thing I will look at is maybe taking 10% of this, again, because all we have to do is move that decimal in one place. And so that makes 9,600, okay, 9,600. Okay, now remember that is 10%, but we're estimating at 5%. 5 is half of 10, so we would take half of this 9,600. <clears throat> and that will be divided by 2, so that will be 4, that will make 8. <clears throat> one and six and that will go eight times and of course that's 16 and just a bunch of zeros so we just drop zeros there so that's forty eight hundred dollars is five percent of the ninety six thousand dollars now remember that five percent is higher than what we actually need we only need this 475 um, so anything that's forty eight hundred or higher we know we can rule out so here are our answer choices we can rule out d and we can rule out B because they are both higher than this 4,800, which is 5% of our uh, valuation. Now, um, the 5% is pretty close to the 4.75, so we're going to be looking at answer choices that are pretty close to this 4,800. So here we have 36.48, which is a little more than 1,000 off, so that's pretty far away. And this 4,500 without going over is uh, fairly close. So our answer choice is C. <clears throat> um, if you needed to do this out by hand because you don't think you could remember these um, mental math tricks, just take this, um, take the uh, 96,000. And go ahead and multiply by this 4.75%, which you would write that as a decimal like this. Okay. And then you would take 5, multiply by 0, 0, and 0, and then by the 6, and then by the 9.
<clears throat> and you would get zero, zero, zero. And this time this is 30. And that's 45 plus 3 is 48. What happened to my number then? Okay, and then you would put your placeholder zero and you would go through and multiply seven times all of those. And um, just you can go ahead and finish doing the multiplication to check it. But remember, time is of the essence when you're taking a test. Um, if you can learn as many of these mental math tricks to do your computations, it'll help you get your test done um, a lot quicker and you can still get to your correct answer. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click on like. It helps me to know what types of videos to um, upload for you all. Uh, if you want to see my updated videos, please subscribe. And thank you for watching.